The Office of Public Works is the authority responsible for carrying out large infrastructural projects for the state. With everything I've learned so far, and with so much at stake, I wanted to raise these issues directly with the OPW to find out if their plans go far enough. Cork City is going to come under huge pressure this century with, with, with sea level rise, with storm surges being amplified by climate change, mm -hmm. and with much more intensive river flooding. How is your plan going to face into that sort of scenario? What we have in mind uh, and what's provided for in the IPCC reports is what we refer to as the mid-range future scenario and the high-end future scenario. So they're possible scenarios from the various ensembles of climate models that determine the possible impacts in terms of, climate, in terms of um, sea level rise. So the mid-range future scenario in the middle of all of those ensembles is about a half metre of sea level rise. The mid-range? The mid-range. But the scientists at the cutting edge of all of the signs are saying these are very conservative figures but they're also saying that the one meter could be as much as two meters and could even be two and a half meters this century there are estimates at I, I would say the extreme end of the range of estimates there are probably estimates at the much lower end as well I know but are we so, fooling ourselves I, I don't think it's a matter of fooling ourselves I think well, what, I, I think what you're illustrating in the conversation is that there is so much uncertainty about climate change that we really don't know what's going to happen in terms of climate change in 50 to 100 but, years but time we, but we know, we, know we, we know something is going to happen and we are building in a certain amount of adaptability into our proposals in terms of yeah. say the defenses for Cork City at the moment um, we know that we may have to do something different in the future depending on how much impact well, arises so, in the okay, future right. from climate change. Okay, but if we, if we look at the river and, and the ocean, yeah. from my perspective, the ocean for the future of Cork is the bigger of the two threats. Yes. By far. Yeah. The ocean's going to be the problem. Yeah. If you had a barrier down yes. in, the, in, in Cork Harbour, yeah. you could open and close that barrier if there was a risk of flooding with, with, with adequate Very weather warnings, yeah. you could, at low tide, let all the water out mm -hmm. and then close the barrier. Mm -hmm. So you've got a huge reservoir to take that water from the Lee River as it mm -hmm. flows down. In other words, does it not simplify the problem and cause much less of the works along the quays to have to be done? There is still a need for defences for based on the fluvial floods. Some of them. Some but, of them, yes. Yes, but yes, part of absolutely. me is probably if you had these other measures in place. And like the tidal barrier. If we do decide eventually that we need to have a barrier down the harbour to protect Cork from higher flood, we will also need to have taken, as a first step towards the barrier, local defences in the city so that the need for closing the barrier won't be too frequent. The approach that we're taking could be summed up as designing for the problem as it is at the moment, but bearing in mind what's going to happen in the future, and building adaptability into what we're proposing to do so that we can adapt it to some extent for what we uh, can anticipate now that will happen in the future. Cork needs flood defences, no. And basically the situation is that a tidal barrier will not be economically viable for uh, in Cork until we have more than half a metre of sea level rise.